Hey everybody and welcome back to Carriage Play Sukon 2. We're just heading into Muse with Miklatov. Miklatov. Dude, I love having Shiro with us. That's Muse in the distance. We must be careful from here on. What? What? Hmm? Is this a bad CG cutscene? No. Wow, I feel like I'm really there. <laughs> it's given the CG from Dragon Warrior 7 a run for its money. <laughs> Just YouTube that, folks. Sydney! Sydney. Oh no, that, that dog has too many teeth. There's some pretty bleak stuff going on here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is, watching their filthy souls sucked into oblivion. What's wrong? Don't you think it's beautiful? Weren't you also born without the legitimate blood of your father? <laughs> so what, the fruit slip into Brooklyn, is it? <laughs> your father, a moof. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, what does that mean? Born with, without the legitimate blood of your father? I think it's, uh, it's sort of implied that maybe, um, like, uh, the Atreides family, like, gave Joey up because his mom had an affair. Oh. Like, he's not the legitimate son of the Atreides. Oh. The, they, they threw him to the wolves because he's not a pure, you know, pure Atreides. Oh, okay. Were you also born without the legitimate blood of your father? Why would you ask that? Because you interest me. Your eyes are different from the eyes of those other pigs. Just below the surface, I see the darkness inside you. Surely you must feel it too. But I am grateful to my father for taking me in. <laughs> <laughs> Sacrifice their souls, free the evil beast, cleanse this foul land. <laughs> he man, he man. What on earth? Mikletoff's, how did we see that cutscene? <laughs> Well, let's check on up on all our friends here. Yeah. It has been a while, but there are no signs of life. Uh, this seems about like how I remember it, just really lively and, you know, really like just with lots of living people. Yeah. With like souls. Dark souls. 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 Souls born. <gasps> oh, help me! Stop! Identify yourself. We don't have to introduce ourselves to the likes of you. Something's funny about them. Seize them. Not it. Not die. Yes. How do you think this guy feels? <laughs> uh, it's like the, it seemed like a little sprite of like him shitting his pants. <laughs> yeah. Shiro just rips up off his face and wears it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Who the hell are you guys? Are you okay? What the hell happened? A monster, a silver monster, everyone eaten alive, my my wife, my kids, father, mother, got them, everyone eaten alive. Hey, hey, hold on. Damn, that bastard, look a blight, how dare he, he'll pay for this. 
Lord Carey, I'm going back to Rock Axe. I'll send those Highlanders back where they came from. There they are. Hurry, we mustn't be captured. Can we go fight them? Teneva. Teneva. It's probably, oh, no. Forget what I said. Oh. They just ran into battles. Yeah. Yeah. Look at how happy Shiro is. Yeah. Tearing out throats. <laughs> throats and scroats. <laughs> you say that as a joke, but, um... But, yeah. Actually, from this side, like, Shiro kind of looks like a bad taxidermy. Have you mm -hmm. ever seen, like, pictures of that online? Mm-mm. You know, people who don't know what they're doing, and it just looks like a fucking Muppet? No. Yeah. I mean, taxidermy is, like, kind of messed up and sad anyway, but, like, when somebody does it bad, it's extra sad. Well, what I noticed when I looked at Shiro is, like, Shiro's got, like, a mullet. I mean, what the... Did, <laughs> did you... I'm just... What? Um, yeah, Shiro has, like, magic, man. He can teleport to the Enterprise. Yay! Freedom! Now, now back to Rock Axe? I guess? Okay. Alright! I guess we could try to get around this way. Uh, Whoa. Whoa! Hey guys! Time Knights! Like, those guys don't belong <laughs> in this, like... Yeah, this is pulled from some other game. <laughs> yeah, this was, like, from some, like, little RPG puzzle game that Konami was working on. Yeah. Did they have Rocket Knight? The... the... opossum? Is it top left or top right there? Top right. No, top left. Wait. Top left. What's the top right then? Uh, to Highland. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Um, Rocket Knight? Oh, yeah. The, uh, like a possum. Yeah. Platformer thingy. Sir Miklotov, I'm glad you were able to make it back safely. After the incident, Lord Garuda immediately ordered us to close the border and not let anyone pass. We were really worried. Thank you for your concern. But you're going to let us pass? Okay. Thank you. Spank you. Spank you very much. I like how this area actually looks different, like in the battle backgrounds. Yeah. Like it's a lot more forested, more mountainous. Like there's snow on them, there are mountains, you know? Yeah, it reminds me of home. Like I do feel like there is distinctions between the provinces, although not as drastic as Sukhon 1. Right. Or even as drastic as like Sukhon 5, I feel like is pretty, you know, yeah. different. Like some of the towns are just like gross. Well, I think the art asset, I, you know, I love Sukhon 5, but if you were to level, like, one complaint against Sukhon 5, those art assets are, are weak. It's sauce. Get bent. Like, I, we'd, uh, or we'd watch the Game Crumbs play, um, you know, Mario Party 5 or whatever, which was uh, made contemporaneously by uh, Hudson Soft. Um, with Sukhum 5. So the, the same small developer had made both Mario Party 5 and Sukhum 5 at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you could see that they actually share assets. <laughs> so like the Mario Party fucking assets in <laughs> Sukhum 5. Yeah. Well, Bowser was the secret 100th ninth star. Yes. In Sukhum 5. And the, the Koopa kids are like the Mukamugus. Yeah. Somehow we made it back. But the people of Muse. Lord Carey, I'm sure Lord Garuda will understand when we inform him. I swear by my hand, Luca Blight will fall. Hurry, Carey. Now the Knights of Matilda will surely join uh, us uh, you, or join you as allies. Uh, 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 uh. Easy allies. Um. 
Let's see, is there no uh, sharpening up here, Matilda? How did you stop at the armor store last time? Maybe that's some some good stuff. I think everything was expensive. Whatever your needs. Base armor. Eh. Yeah. We'll we'll be fine. Snarf. <laughs> Do you even get the reference? Snarf? Yeah, snarf. You can snarf. Snarf's just a verb. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I just know it from that like annoying fucking character from Thundercats in the 80s. Oh. Snarf! Oh! Lionel! Don't do that! Oh, Snarf! Snarf! Oh, snarf's also a yeah, dictionary of that, man. Pull up, pull up the definition. I don't have my phone on me. What? And I'm not gonna dignify... I guarantee you Snarf is a real word. Oh, Snarf! 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 Hey, actually, let's stop and see if there are any crystal balls or uh, mayonnaise. Oh, we can't even oh. get in. Balzac. Crystal Balzac. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Is this again? What? What is this? Um, I think we get in the other way. Yep. All right. Back you should be the... playing Eye of the Tiger as you run up all those stairs. Yeah. So, you've returned, Miklatov. I'm glad that you are safe. Yes, I met Lord Gary on the way, and we traveled together. Uh, but never mind that. Where is Lord Gerudo? Did something happen? It's not like you to be so... Mm, imperious. Something happened. I only know fragments of the story, but those Highland dogs are doing something horrible. Calm yourself. A knight should know how to control his temper. <laughs> I am totally fucking freaking out. <laughs> you don't understand. Out of my way, Camus. This emotion can't be controlled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm reading it this way. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Bitch. What got into him? Lord Gerudo, <laughs> I have just so pissed. <laughs> I see you're safe, Miklatov. Lord Gerudo, I have a request. Please let me take the army, or even just my own Blue Knight Squadron, to invade Muse. Are you mad? Why should we do that? Highland has no intention of fighting us, but you want to start a war with them? The Highland Army gathered all the people of Muse and the nearby towns and sacrificed them in some bizarre ritual. It was a massacre. We can't go on pretending not to see what's happening. What of our honor as knights? I don't know what you saw, but we knights have a responsibility to govern this land. We can't send its people into danger. You can't think Highland will leave us for long. When the other state cities f uh, fall, Luca Blight will come to destroy us. Silence! This massacre you're babbling about, do you actually see it with your own eyes? No, but, but we know they captured all the refugees. Shut up! You speak of Knight's honor. As a knight captain, didn't you pledge to me, by the emblem on your chest, your undying loyalty? It's breaking that pledge, part of a knight's honor. Uh, I really do love Gerudo. <laughs> uh, I did swear to you by this emblem, but this is my true knight's honor. If that's the way you want it, fine. Now get out of my sight. Breaking a pledge. Breaking a pledge of loyalty is a knight's highest disgrace. But... But I am. I am. I am. I am a human first and a knight second. I don't need your title. I resign myself to your disgrace. See, like, this is a cool Miklatov moment because... You know, it's like it's truly showing like this guy 
is something really special, you know? Right, you know, it's and you even saw it, like, the first time uh, he was fighting the army battle and, like, you know, against the state in, in, in the province of Meuse, and he was called back and he was like, fuck. You know, it's yeah. like he, he knows what's right. Like, you know, and, you know, he's, you know, you have um, conflicting interests. Yeah. You know. You know, he's an honorable knight, which dictates that he is, you know, obedient to his lord, but, like, he's a human being with a moral compass first. Yeah, and I mean, like, they could have been, you know, it would have been more boring if Miklatov was just simply loyal to death. That would have been more boring, but I think also it's neat that, like, Miklatov breaking away right now, it's not, like, immediate... Like Gerudo saying, "Kill you know, kill that little child, kill him." You know, you know, it's like it's not pushed to the maximum level of, but it's, it's planting the seeds of like a greater conflict to come. Yeah, well, like Miklatov is like, I mean, it's like Miklatov leaving right now and breaking his pledge. It's not like an immediate thing. Okay, he was brought to the absolute breaking point, and he realized this true thing. It's. Like, there's not immediate danger right now for them, you know? Like, Miklatov could have been like, ah, okay, I'm gonna sleep on it even. But, you know, like, just choosing now, you know, I don't know. I think it's just a cool moment and a good place for it and how they did it. Fuck yeah. But I will never forgive you. I can never look idly by while lives are being thrown away. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Cool. Yes. Fuck yeah. You, you, to break your oath? Mikhailov is just upset. Let him cool off a bit. I mean, and the thing is, just like I remember playing this for the first time and thinking is that Camus would be villain. Like, you know, it's like this is the breaking. Is that Camus, despite being relatively cool, like he wouldn't cross that line. Yeah. Uh, anyway. You came in just in time, Camus. Arrest this man. Throw him in prison. Arrest Mikhlatov. I can't do that. What are you saying? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm going to break my oath, too. I cannot obey. Camus. Lord Carey, please allow Mikhlatov and I to join the Martha army. We are no longer knights, but we still possess our hearts and our skills. Surely, surely they will edge you. Edge you. <laughs> yes, dance party. I want to see, like, the hero yes. do, like, the cartwheel or the windmill on the ground. Oh, yeah. Sing. You, you traitors. You can't just leave. You guards, arrest them all. This is, okay. Quickly, hurry up! This is awesome. Watch. Mm -hmm. Sir Camus, Sir Miklatov, please let me accompany you. <laughs> I want to fight by your side. You, you. Sir Miklatov, please take me too. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, this would be the time to, like, you know, maybe take care of Gerudo. I'm yeah. just saying. You fools! So you've turned a handful of knights against me. What do you think that will accomplish? He hides behind this freaking thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, everyone. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just like, I'm not back here. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, it's just a... He's like, he, he's crapping his pants. <laughs> he's like doing like that fake stair walk. Like, <laughs> I'm going down a set of stairs back here. <laughs> Nobody's here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I'm, so, I'm sorry, everyone. Lord Carey, it's not safe to stay in this castle any longer. I'm so very sorry. So sorry. Let's escape the castle before Gerudo calls in his army. Miklatov, you go with Lord Carey. I'll talk with some of the other knights and catch up. I should be able to convince a few more to join us. Although I hate to cancel them towards treason. Be careful. Don't worry, I'll come soon. <laughs> Phrasing. 
<laughs> we need to hurry. The Muse border is probably still under Gerudo's control, so let's escape through Green Hill. He's so bird person. <laughs> yeah, he is. Tammy, gross. Gross Tammy. <laughs> oh, just teleport here. We should be safe now. Huh? I'm so tired of constantly running away. I don't think you even need Nanami in your party. Yeah. So, like, that's just unique dialogue right there. Run, Miklotov, they're coming after us. What? There's too many. Yipes! It's okay. We'll try them somehow. Prepare for battle. Hey. <laughs> I, I definitely wasn't, uh... Just, uh, <laughs> hanging out over here. Mm. <laughs> We've come to escort you back, Lord Gary. Shoo, thank God. Now we'll stand a fighting chance. I doubt you'll need us. Take a closer look <laughs> at your pursuers. <laughs> Camus. Sorry we're late, Miklatov. Camus, you. What's with all these people? They share our disgust for Gerudo's methods. About half of both the Red and Blue Knights have decided to join us. You must be Lord Camus and Lord Miklatov. I am Shu, the Martha Army's strategist. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am the former Blue Knight Captain of Matilda, Miklatov. And I am Camus, former Red Knight Captain, now a common swordsman. The Martha Army welcomes you both. Lord Carey, we must return immediately. I don't know how much longer we can evade the notice of the Green Hill Army. It's a pretty good get for us. Yeah. I mean, especially, you know, we didn't get the, the province to join us, but we got, you know, a, mo or half of their muscle. Muscle. You want to finish it off with reading? Let's read. read. Yeah. It's re no. Aww. Aww. Come on, people. Come on, fucking assholes. <laughs> no. Let's go talk to uh, Richmond. Probably most of our army is um, illiterate. <laughs> yeah. Like Tixon. <laughs> Hicks and Hangar. Tix and Hangar. Yes. You got some business with Richmond, yeah. I thought, I thought you, the treatment was uh, Matthew McConaughey from... Uh, Dave's confused. Yeah, I can't do that good either. Sure, it was nine. Oh, the old pup. That's really old for a wolf. Or maybe it's like wolf years. Oh, so he was just born then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He like you pop out the womb and you're nine. <laughs> yeah. Special forces. Special forces. Um. Huh. How old is Miklatov? Sure, I, Miklatov, I think, is 22. Do you know that? I, at some point or other, I've seen all of these. I think Miklatov is 22. What about how old is... I think. And Camus is 23? Okay. And like, okay, and the, the gene one is really funny because it doesn't tell you anything. Other than she's, like, mysterious. Yeah. So who do you want to find out? Taiho? Yeah. Taiho, I bet, is, like, 34. Yeah, I can see Taiho being in his 30s. Maybe early 40s? Maybe. 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 All right. And with that, I think we'll call this an episode. Episode. Okay, and then, and then we have the, um, the, uh... Matilda Knights hanging out there in, in our base. Yeah. yeah. And that, yeah, that's cool, like, just to see, like, where people came from, you know? It would be cool, though, like, if there was, I like, guess people came, you developed, like, a, your own uniform. But maybe the point is that it's people from all over, like, different backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. Respect diversity. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Get bent. <laughs> good bent, good bent, good bent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See everybody. Bye.